any high horsepower car, that differential pressure is not supposed to drop at all. It's gotta be solid. Do you see it drop? Even it comes back a little bit, but still it shouldn't drop like that. And there's nothing, there is nothing between the surge and the fuel lines. There's no filter, there's no nothing. So there's no excuse for it to drop. This is gonna be a video for those of you that both enjoy seeing other people suffer and just absolutely frustrating for those of you who just wanna see results. Uh, straight to the point, the car is currently no more. I'm gonna take a little bit of time to rationalize what's going on. It wasn't the motor that blew, the motor is the result of my fuel system taking a complete double swan dive shit jump into shit lake. Yes, it's sitting right behind me, but the engine took a turn for the worse, and oddly enough, it happened already while well, you saw it in the video. We didn't realize that there were problems. We took the engine right to the edge. Unfortunately, while we were trying to figure out what was going on with the fuel system, which we ultimately figured out, the problem was too far gone. The fuel system caused us to go lean repeatedly at over 840 horsepower, and when you're at those levels, uh, things go bad very quickly. Well, uh, at best, uh, at absolute best, the fuel system going lean uh, cracked the block at some point in our evening runs. And then we did a small run or two here, just testing or making sure that my new pumps worked. And the block very clearly made it, made it known to us that it was already trashed. The best thing, we, I mean, the, the minimum we have to do is, is pull the engine, uh, tear it apart again redo all of it. The iron's probably so broken that we have to replace the iron. That's that thick iron on a 20B, which is whatever, six grand, something. It, it itself is ridiculous, 4,500 at least. Get it ported. Apex seals maybe, but all the like the coolant seals and, and all that, that's all, that's whatever, another two grand, I don't know. But, so yeah, the, that's wonderful. Yeah, it's, it's definitely dead, definitely dead. In the video publicly that was what it released three weeks ago before I went into a minor depression, you see the car hitting 14 AFR, very lean, and that did a number on the engine. We have both a cracked iron, again, and a rotor that seems to be down on power and compression. It's down low to 10 to 40 PSI. Yeah, it's hurt. What are you seeing? Two in the 40s and one in the 20s. This is a... Uh, a pain in the ass. This is an absolute disastrous setup because everything else, this is no guesswork involved. This engine is solid. Everything was doing great. We just went lean and there was a problem with my O2 sensor where we couldn't trust it. It kept triggering the ECU to say, hey, the car was going lean when it wasn't. And we turned off that safety feature so we could push the car further. And of course our fuel system fell flat on its face. What happened to the fuel system is very interesting. The pumps that are in here that are in the surge tank are not the same high PSI level pumps that are in the tank hanger in the car. We made way more power, had a way higher flow, and the system didn't cut off at 87 PSI, which the ones in the surge tank do. And that's exactly the PSI where things went wrong. There's speculation as to what exactly is happening at that moment, but it is very clear that with head loss, with loss of pressure from the system sending it to the pressure sensor at the front, it was about four PSI, three, four PSI loss. Sure enough, at 83 PSI, the system goes lean as the car tries asking for more fuel. The system, whatever's going on in there, just didn't allow for more fuel flow at that pressure. So it maintained the pressure. The flow was not getting any greater and the engine went lean as soon as it went higher than 87 PSI. So you saw some really weird things happening right at the top end. I took a lot of time off, obviously it was for the holidays, but it was a massive blow to the channel's progress and just, this isn't supposed to be the center of the channel. This was just a fun side project to get to a thousand horsepower. We were almost there, just technically not there. The four rotor is the center of all this, but this was a massive blow to the success and the channel's progress. I am not exactly sure what's about to come up. I did share with the Patreon users, if you guys are watching this video, please do not share the secret. You guys got some really cool things about to happen. So you know me, this is a minor setback, but we're gonna keep on trucking. Next video is actually four rotor content, so enjoy that. That's That baby comes back to this shop in a week. 2019's gonna be an amazing year. Got some great videos coming as soon as tomorrow.